Yeah, no, don't worry about the cops. It's um, it's sorted. Yeah. All right. See ya. Who was that? Oh, it's just Casey. He's wondering what was happening with the charges. I think you should leave. Oh, why? Oh, you, you think I'm lying about who I was talking to? No, I um, just got a text from Ruby and she's going to be home pretty soon. Yeah, so what? Are you serious? I really have to explain that one. So what, you don't want her to see you with me because you think it'll make you look like a hypocrite? Look, you do realise you can't stop them seeing each other. I mean, whether you like it or not, they're going to make it happen. Well, I have to do something after what they did. Yeah, well, why don't you get them to clean this guy's house or something? That's what a normal mum would do. <laughs> a normal mum? Yeah, oh, I mean, like one that's not trying to be a copper all the time. OK, I'm really sorry, but Charlie the cop and Charlie the mum are one in the same person. No, 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 they're not. You see, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I've got no trouble separating the two of you. You should try it as well. You might get along with Ruby a lot better. OK, just leave now. <laughs> So I guess I'll see you tonight then. At the barbecue at our place. You and Ruby are still going to be there, right? But right now, I just want you to get out of here. Right, you know what? I like the other Charlie a whole lot more. So you just tell me when she's back. Why don't you just speak to Rue again? No, she can't exactly fire you. You've already resigned. Okay, I'll speak to you later. Hey. Hey. Is everything all right? Wasn't work, I hope. Ah, uh, no, that was about something else. Thank you. Um, have you spoken to Brax today? Uh, no. Why are you asking? Oh, his kids broke into this guy's house and had a party there without his knowledge. Turns out Casey Braxton delivered a piece to the guy a few days before. King, I'm going to kill that kid? Yeah, we have to get in line behind Brax. Besides, we can't say for sure that that was the connection. Well, it's pretty obvious. And it's going to be great for business, you know, if word gets out. How, how are things going at the restaurant? You and Brax seem to be getting along really well these days. Yeah, actually, so do the two of you. What? I saw him flirting with you the other day. What's your point? All I'm saying is, guys like Brax, they always have another agenda, so just... just be careful, OK? OK, um... I don't know about Summer Bay, but in Mangrove River, if someone can't make a dinner, they've been invited to their call. I told Ruby. Where is she? She's still at our place. And she pretended she wasn't upset you didn't show, but I could tell she was. Mum wasn't too happy either. Well, I just thought, with all things considered, that it would be better this way. Oh, you see, I thought all things considered the opposite would be true. Look, did this afternoon even happen, or did I just make the whole thing up in my head? Or are you just the kind of girl that does that kind of thing and it doesn't mean anything? No, of course not. Then, then what is it? What if it was all just a huge mistake? <sighs> Come on, Charlie. Don't do this. You know, it's taken us too long to get here already. OK, I want to see where this can go. And I know that's what you want to... You see this, this, yeah, you're going back into cop mode again, that's, that's the problem. It just wouldn't work. Well, it seemed like it would this afternoon. You knew it was right then, you knew it was what you wanted, what we both wanted, what we both still want now, right? This afternoon shouldn't have happened, OK? It could never work between us. I just want you to stay away from me.